Welcome back to our channel. We hope you'll find valuable content here. If you enjoy our channel, please remember to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more. Let's dive in. Understanding Closed-Loop Marketing in Simple Terms Imagine you're a chef in a restaurant. Every day, you cook dishes and serve them to your customers. Some dishes are loved, some not so much. Now, if you just keep cooking without ever asking your customers for feedback or observing which dishes are most popular, you might end up wasting ingredients on dishes that no one likes. But, if you pay attention to what dishes are being ordered the most, which ones get returned, and actively ask for feedback, you can refine your menu to better suit your customers' tastes. This process of cooking, getting feedback, and then refining based on that feedback is similar to what businesses do with closed-loop marketing. In the world of business, instead of dishes, you have products or services. And instead of customers in a restaurant, you have a target audience online or offline. The idea is to put out your marketing strategies, see how your audience responds, gather data on their responses, and then refine your strategies based on that data. This continuous cycle of planning, executing, checking, and refining is what we call a closed loop in marketing. Setting Goals, the Starting Point of Your Journey Now, before you start this cycle, you need to know where you're headed. It's like deciding what kind of restaurant you want to open before you start cooking. Do you want a fast food joint, a fine dining place, or maybe a cozy cafe? Similarly, in business, you need to decide what you want to achieve with your marketing efforts. Setting goals is like setting the destination on your GPS before you start driving. It gives you direction and helps you measure how far you've come and how far you need to go. For instance, increasing leads, imagine you're throwing a party and you want as many friends to come as possible. In business terms, this is like wanting more people to show interest in your product or service. These interested people are what we call leads. Boosting sales, this is like wanting more of your friends not just to RSVP for your party, but to actually show up. In business, it's not just about people showing interest, but actually buying what you're selling. Enhancing customer satisfaction, imagine you want your friends to not only come to your party, but to have such a great time that they talk about it for weeks. In the business world, this is about ensuring that people who buy your product or service are happy and satisfied with their purchase. Once you've decided on your destination, or goal, you can plan the best route to get there. This route is your marketing strategy. And just like you might change routes if there's traffic or a roadblock, in closed-loop marketing, you'll adjust your strategies based on the feedback and data you gather. Identifying your target audience, finding your tribe. Imagine you're organizing a movie night at your place. You wouldn't randomly pick a movie without considering who's coming over, right? If you have a group of kids, you might choose an animated film. If it's a gathering of close friends who love thrillers, you'd probably go for a suspenseful movie. This process of choosing the right movie based on who's watching is similar to identifying your target audience in business. In the business world, before you start promoting a product or service, you need to know who you're promoting it to. This group of people who are most likely to be interested in what you're offering is your target audience. Why is it important? Efficiency, it's like fishing in a pond where you know there are fish, rather than in a random puddle. You're more likely to get results when you know where to direct your efforts. Tailored messaging, knowing your audience means you can craft messages that resonate with them. It's like telling a joke that you know your friend will find hilarious because you know their sense of humor. Better product development, when you know who you're serving, you can design products or services that cater specifically to their needs and preferences. How to identify your target audience? Demographics, basic information like age, gender, location, etc. It's like knowing you have a group of teenagers coming over for movie night, so you'd probably avoid kiddie cartoons. Interests and preferences, what do they like? What are their hobbies? It's akin to knowing your friends love sci-fi, so you'd pick a movie like Star Wars or Star Trek. 
Behavior, how do they behave online? What websites do they visit? It's like noticing a friend always talks about superhero movies, so you'd consider something from the Marvel or DC universe. Feedback and surveys, ask them. Just as you might ask your friends for movie suggestions, in business, you can use surveys or feedback forms to understand what your audience wants. Collecting data, the detective work of marketing. Think of yourself as a detective in a mystery novel. To solve a case, a detective gathers clues, observes suspects, and pieces together the story. Similarly, in the world of marketing, collecting data is like gathering those vital clues to understand your customers better and refine your marketing strategies. Why collect data? Informed decisions, just as a detective wouldn't accuse someone without evidence, businesses shouldn't make marketing decisions without data. It helps you make choices based on facts rather than gut feelings. Understand customer behavior. By collecting data, you can understand how customers interact with your brand. It's like tracking the footprints of a suspect to see where they've been. Measure success. Data helps you measure the success of your campaigns. It's the equivalent of a detective finding out if their hunch was right. What kind of data to collect? Website visits. This tells you how many people are visiting your online store and what they're looking at. It's like a detective counting how many times a suspect visited a particular location. Email opens. If you send out newsletters or promotional emails, tracking who opens them and who doesn't can give insights into what content interests your audience. Social media engagements, likes, shares, comments, these are all clues about what your audience appreciates and what resonates with them. Purchase history, knowing what products or services your customers have bought in the past, can help you predict what they might be interested in the future. Analyzing data, deciphering the story behind the numbers. Imagine you're piecing together a jigsaw puzzle. You have all these individual pieces, and it's only when you start putting them together that you see the bigger picture. Similarly, in marketing, you collect various data points, and analyzing them helps you see the broader story of your customer's journey. Why analyze data? Spotting trends. Just as you might notice patterns in a puzzle, analyzing data helps you spot trends in customer behavior. For instance, do they always visit a particular product page, but never buy? Identifying strengths and weaknesses. Data analysis can show you what's working and what's not. It's like realizing which pieces of the puzzle fit perfectly and which don't belong. Making predictions. Once you've analyzed past data, you can make educated guesses about future behavior. It's akin to predicting what the finished puzzle will look like based on the pieces you've already placed. How to analyze data. Descriptive analysis. This is about understanding what happened. For instance, how many visitors did your website get last month? It's like counting the number of puzzle pieces you have. Diagnostic analysis. Here, you dive deeper to understand why something happened. Why was there a spike in website visits on a particular day? It's akin to figuring out why a certain puzzle piece fits in a specific spot. Predictive analysis. Based on past data, you predict future outcomes. For example, if you run a similar campaign next month, can you expect a similar spike in visits? It's like guessing where the next puzzle piece will go. Prescriptive analysis. This is about recommending actions. If you notice that a particular product page gets a lot of visits but no sales, maybe you need to tweak the product description or pricing. It's like getting a hint for where to place a tricky puzzle piece. Segmenting your audience, organizing your marketing toolbox. Imagine you have a toolbox. Inside, you have different tools for different tasks, a hammer for nails, a screwdriver for screws, and pliers for gripping. You wouldn't use a hammer to tighten a screw, right? Similarly, in marketing, not all customers are the same, and they shouldn't all receive the same marketing message. This is where segmenting your audience comes into play. Why segment your audience? Personalized messaging. Just as you pick the right tool for the job, segmenting allows you to tailor your marketing messages to different groups. 
This increases the chances of your message resonating with them. Efficient use of resources, instead of a one-size-fits-all approach, which can waste resources, segmentation ensures you're targeting the right people with the right message. Improved customer experience, customers appreciate when brands understand their needs and preferences. It's like having a tool that fits perfectly in your hand. How to segment your audience. Demographic segmentation, this is based on factors like age, gender, income, etc. For instance, a brand selling makeup might have different products or campaigns for teenagers versus mature adults. Geographic segmentation, based on location. A company might promote winter coats in colder regions and swimsuits in coastal areas. Behavioral segmentation, based on actions, like previous purchases or website visits. It's like knowing which tool a person reaches for most often and then recommending similar tools. Psychographic segmentation, this dives into lifestyles, values, and interests. A brand promoting eco-friendly products might target individuals who are passionate about sustainability. Creating targeted marketing campaigns, crafting the perfect recipe. Imagine you're a chef preparing a special dinner. You wouldn't serve a steak to a vegetarian or a spicy dish to someone who can't handle heat. Instead, you'd tailor each dish to the diner's preferences. Similarly, in marketing, once you've segmented your audience, you craft specific campaigns to cater to each segment's unique needs and preferences. Why create targeted campaigns? Higher engagement, just as a diner would appreciate a dish tailored to their taste, customers are more likely to engage with messages that resonate with their interests and needs. Better conversion rates, a well-targeted campaign increases the likelihood of turning a potential customer into a paying one. It's like serving a dish that's so good, diners ask for seconds. Strengthened brand loyalty, when customers feel understood and catered to, they're more likely to stick with your brand. It's the difference between a diner returning to a restaurant or trying somewhere new. How to create targeted campaigns. Understand your segments, before crafting a campaign, deeply understand the segment you're targeting. It's like knowing a diner's dietary restrictions and preferences before cooking for them. Tailor the message, ensure the campaign speaks directly to the segment's needs, interests, and challenges. It's akin to adjusting the spices in a dish to suit a diner's palate. Choose the right channels, different segments might prefer different communication channels. Some might be more active on social media, while others prefer email. It's like choosing the right wine to pair with a dish. Monitor and adjust, after launching the campaign, monitor its performance. If it's not resonating, adjust accordingly. It's like tasting and tweaking a dish before serving. Tracking and measuring results, the scoreboard of your marketing game. Imagine you're playing a video game. As you progress, you constantly check your score, the number of lives left, and the time remaining. These metrics help you understand how well you're doing and what you need to do next. Similarly, in the world of marketing, tracking and measuring results give you insights into the performance of your campaigns and guide your future actions. Why track and measure results? Evaluate success. Just as a scoreboard tells you if you're winning or losing the game, tracking results helps you determine if your marketing campaigns are successful. Identify areas for improvement. If you keep losing lives at a particular level in a game, you know you need to change your strategy. Similarly, if a marketing campaign isn't performing well, you need to identify the weak points and address them. Optimize future campaigns. By understanding what worked and what didn't, you can make informed decisions for future campaigns. It's like using the experience from previous game levels to tackle the next ones. How to track and measure. Key performance indicators, KPIs, these are specific metrics that you decide are important for your campaign. It's like deciding that the number of coins collected in a game is more important than the time taken to complete a level. Analytics tools, use tools like Google Analytics or Social Media Insights to gather data. 
It's akin to the game analytics that show you your highest score, average score, etc. Feedback, direct feedback from customers can be invaluable. It's like getting tips from fellow gamers on how to beat a tough level. A-B testing, this involves running two versions of a campaign to see which one performs better. It's like trying two different strategies in a game to see which one gets you a higher score. Using a marketing automation platform, the autopilot of your marketing journey. Think of driving a modern car equipped with advanced features like cruise control, automatic braking, and lane keeping assist. These features don't replace the driver but make the journey smoother and more efficient. Similarly, a marketing automation platform doesn't replace marketers but enhances their efforts, making campaigns more streamlined and effective. Why use a marketing automation platform? Efficiency, just as cruise control maintains your car's speed without you constantly pressing the accelerator, automation platforms can handle repetitive tasks, saving time and effort. Consistency, automation ensures that certain marketing actions happen consistently, much like how automatic braking will always engage if a collision is imminent. Personalization at scale, imagine if your car could adjust the seat, temperature, and music based on who's driving. In the same way, automation platforms can deliver personalized marketing messages to large audiences. Features of a marketing automation platform Email campaigns automate the sending of emails based on specific triggers, like a new sign-up or a card abandonment. Lead scoring automatically assigns scores to leads based on their interactions, helping sales teams prioritize. Customer segmentation automatically categorize customers into different segments based on their behavior or demographics. Analytics and reporting Get automated reports on campaign performance, helping in quick decision-making. Integrating marketing and sales tools, the symphony of business success. Imagine an orchestra where each instrument plays its part, but they all come together to create a harmonious melody. In the business world, marketing and sales are like two key instruments. When they play in sync, the result is a seamless customer journey and increased business success. Why integrate marketing and sales tools? Unified customer view. Just as an orchestra conductor needs to hear all instruments to guide the performance, integrating tools gives businesses a complete view of the customer, from first interaction to final sale. Efficient data transfer. No more manually transferring data between teams. It's like having sheet music that every musician can read and play from. Improved collaboration, when marketing and sales tools are integrated, teams can collaborate better, ensuring that potential customers don't fall through the cracks. How to integrate CRM systems, customer relationship management systems can serve as the central hub, storing data from both marketing and sales activities. API integrations, connect different software tools so they can talk to each other and share data seamlessly. Unified dashboards, create dashboards that show data from both marketing and sales, giving a comprehensive view of performance. Regular team meetings, ensure that both teams meet regularly to discuss strategies, share insights, and align goals. Working with your sales team, the dynamic duo of business growth. Imagine Batman and Robin, a legendary duo that works together to fight crime and protect Gotham City. In the business realm, the marketing and sales teams can be seen as this dynamic duo. When they collaborate effectively, they can drive growth, win customers, and achieve business success. Why work with your sales team? Shared insights. Just as Batman might share information about a villain's plan with Robin, the marketing team can provide valuable insights about customer behavior, preferences, and feedback to the sales team. Aligned goals. Both teams should have a shared mission, whether it's increasing revenue, acquiring new customers, or launching a new product. It's like Batman and Robin having a common goal of keeping Gotham safe. Efficient lead handoff. When a potential customer, lead, is ready to make a purchase, the marketing team should smoothly hand them over to the sales team. It's akin to Batman chasing a villain and then Robin stepping in to make the capture. How to collaborate effectively. 
regular communication, schedule regular meetings between the two teams to discuss strategies, share updates, and address challenges. Use shared tools, utilize platforms where both teams can access and update customer data, ensuring everyone is on the same page. Feedback loop, the sales team, being on the front line, can provide feedback on what's working and what's not. This feedback can be invaluable for the marketing team to refine their strategies. Joint training sessions, organize sessions where both teams can learn from each other, understand their challenges, and align their approaches. Closed-loop marketing, the GPS of your business journey. Imagine you're on a road trip using a GPS. It not only guides you to your destination, but also provides real-time feedback, rerouting you when there's a roadblock or suggesting faster routes. Closed-loop marketing operates similarly for businesses, guiding marketing strategies with real-time data and feedback. Benefits of Closed-loop Marketing Data-driven decisions Just as a GPS uses real-time data to guide you, closed-loop marketing provides actionable insights based on actual customer behavior. Optimized marketing spend, by understanding what works and what doesn't, businesses can allocate their budget more efficiently, ensuring a higher return on investment. Enhanced customer experience, with insights into the customer journey, businesses can tailor their strategies to better meet customer needs, leading to increased satisfaction and loyalty. Challenges of closed-loop marketing Data integration, like ensuring your GPS has the latest maps, Businesses need to integrate data from various sources, which can be technically challenging. Data privacy concerns. Just as some people are wary of sharing their location, businesses must address customer concerns about data privacy and ensure compliance with regulations. Continuous monitoring. Closed-loop marketing requires continuous monitoring and adjustment, much like how a GPS needs to be regularly updated for accuracy. Five Stellar Demonstrations of Closed-Loop Marketing Closed-Loop Marketing is like a feedback loop in music production, where the output is continually fed back into the system to refine and improve the sound. Here are five shining examples of businesses that have effectively harnessed the power of closed-loop marketing. Personalized Email Campaigns Example, an e-commerce store tracks user behavior on their website. If a user browses winter jackets but doesn't make a purchase, they receive a personalized email a few days later showcasing a special discount on winter jackets. Outcome, increased sales and enhanced customer experience due to tailored content. Retarget ads. Example, a travel agency notices that a user searched for flights to Paris but didn't book. They then display ads for Parisian holiday packages on the user's social media feeds. Outcome, higher conversion rates as users are reminded of their initial interest. Dynamic website content. Example, a software company offers different products for businesses and individuals. Based on browsing history, when a visitor returns to the site, they see content tailored to their category, business or individual. Outcome, improved user engagement and increased likelihood of conversion. Feedback-driven product development. Example, a tech gadget company launches a new product and collects user feedback through surveys. They find that users want a specific feature. The company then releases an updated version with that feature. Outcome, enhanced product offerings and increased customer loyalty. Integrated CRM and Marketing Automation Example, a B2B company uses a CRM to track leads and customer interactions. Their marketing automation platform triggers specific campaigns based on CRM data, ensuring that potential clients receive timely and relevant content. Outcome, Streamlined Lead Nurturing Process and Higher Conversion Rates Closed-Loop Marketing, Navigating the Business Odyssey in the vast sea of business strategies, closed-loop marketing emerges as a beacon, guiding companies towards their desired destinations. Much like a seasoned captain uses a compass and map to navigate the waters, businesses employ closed-loop marketing to steer their efforts based on real-time feedback and data. Key Takeaways Setting clear goals Before embarking on any journey, it's crucial to know the destination. 
In closed-loop marketing, clear objectives, whether increasing leads, sales, or customer satisfaction, set the course. Identifying the target audience, knowing whom to address is as vital as knowing the message. Tailoring marketing efforts to a specific audience ensures that the message resonates and has the desired impact. Data collection and analysis. The heart of closed-loop marketing lies in gathering data and deriving insights. It's akin to a captain interpreting weather patterns and adjusting the ship's course accordingly. Audience segmentation. By categorizing the audience based on behavior, interests, or demographics, businesses can craft personalized strategies, much like a chef preparing dishes tailored to individual preferences. Targeted marketing campaigns. With insights in hand, businesses can launch campaigns that hit the mark, ensuring that the right message reaches the right audience at the right time. Tracking and measuring results. Continuous monitoring and adjustment are paramount. It's the feedback loop that allows businesses to refine their strategies, ensuring they're always on the right track. Additional pro tips. Marketing automation platforms, these tools act as the autopilot, streamlining and enhancing marketing efforts. Integration of tools, a seamless flow of data between marketing and sales tools ensures a harmonious customer journey. Collaboration with sales, marketing and sales are two sides of the same coin. Their collaboration ensures that potential customers are nurtured and guided effectively through the sales funnel. Stellar Demonstrations From personalized email campaigns and retargeted ads to dynamic website content and feedback-driven product development, various businesses have showcased the power of closed-loop marketing. These demonstrations serve as lighthouses, illuminating the path for others to follow. Closed-loop marketing isn't just a strategy. It's a philosophy. It emphasizes listening, adapting, and continually refining efforts based on feedback. In the ever-evolving business landscape, it's the compass that ensures companies stay on course, reaching their desired destinations and achieving unparalleled success.